We have a new biggest star in the known universe that makes even UI Scooty and Stevenson 218 look tiny. You'll feel really small too. So be sure to stay tuned until the end for spectacular size comparisons. And if you like it, I'd be delighted to get a thumbs up and a comment because that's how we get the algorithm to show this exciting topic to even more people. Thank you, friends, and welcome. Do you still remember UI Scooty? This red supergiant was long considered the largest known star in the cosmos, and it really is awe-inspiring. It was originally estimated to be around 1,700 times the radius of our sun. This means that, if placed in our solar system, it would almost reach the orbit of Saturn. However, more and more astronomers are casting doubt on this size, as it is possible that the distance to UI Scooty from Earth was measured incorrectly. There are already estimates that reduce its radius to just 775 solar radii, still gigantic, but that would knock it off the list of the largest stars. There are other giants too. In recent years, it was assumed that UY Scooty would have been knocked off the throne by Stevenson, 218. Stevenson was estimated to have a radius 2,158 times that of the Sun. This corresponds to approximately 10 billion times the volume of the Sun. Unbelievable. This giant lies in the star cluster Stevenson II, around 20,000 light years away in the constellation Shield. If you were to fly around the star at the speed of light, it would take you 9 years. By comparison, it would only take 14.5 seconds to orbit the Sun at the speed of light. But here's the thing, something can't be quite right with this radius, because the question of how big a star can theoretically grow is quite complex. There are theoretical limits to the growth of stars based on factors such as the composition of the star, its evolutionary history, and the strength of its stellar wind. This limit to stellar growth is thought to be around 1500 times the radius of the Sun. Beyond that, the star could no longer exist in a physically stable manner. For Stevenson 218, this means that either our measurements are wrong. Quite possibly, because we also got it wrong with UI Scooty. Or that Stevenson is much smaller than we thought, but is surrounded by a gigantic cloud of outgassing, and that we inadvertently measured the size of this cloud, rather than the star itself. It's as if we wanted to measure the size of a person, but instead of measuring the actual body size, we measured the size of his cloud of vapors. And since the person in question hasn't showered for three weeks, this would be many times larger than their height, what kind of comparisons are these again? The diffuse gas in the outer layers of Stevenson 218 has probably merged with the interstellar medium and can therefore no longer be regarded as the surface of the star. In other words, there is much to suggest that Stevenson is much smaller than we thought. UY Scooty is gone, Stevenson falls out, but then who is the largest known star in the universe? Well, there's a new king of the stars, a new leader of the stellar giants, a new holder, of the cosmic pole position, and it's called WOG64. It is a red supergiant in the large Magellanic Cloud, a satellite galaxy of our Milky Way. This star is not only large but also extremely luminous and cool compared to other supergiant stars. Its combination of temperature and luminosity places it in the upper right corner of the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. By the way, here at the planetarium where I shoot my videos, we have an extremely cool mural of the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram, perfect wall decor for nerds. It's a graphical representation that ranks stars based on their luminosity versus their temperature. And this allows astronomers to distinguish and compare different stages and properties of stars, which in turn provides important information about stellar evolution. In this diagram, most of the stars lie along a diagonal line called the main sequence which shows the relationship between a star's mass and its lifetime. Huo G64 is also a very curious star for other reasons. It probably has a smaller star as a companion, which would make it a binary star system, and a very special one at that, a gigantic giant, accompanied by a small stellar companion, cute somehow. It has also been found to be losing an enormous amount of matter, with an average mass loss rate that is among the highest ever observed in a red supergiant. It is therefore in the final phase of its stellar existence and is already blowing its plasma into space in its death throes. And this fact 
makes it extremely difficult to estimate its size precisely. As was the case with Stevenson, some estimates put its radius at 2575 solar radii. If that were correct, placed in our solar system, it would reach beyond the orbit of Jupiter, surpassing even UI Scuti and Stevenson with their optimistic size estimates. Unbelievable. But of course you can argue that this is physically improbable and that this massive size estimate probably includes the outgassing cloud. Nevertheless, it can be said that it is definitely larger than Stevenson if the outgassing cloud is included. More conservative estimates are 1540 solar radii, and that fits pretty perfectly, as we are right near the theoretical size limit for stars. So that's probably the true size of the star itself, without gas clouds. More is not possible. And there is much to suggest that it is larger than Stevenson. It will probably explode as a supernova in about 1,000 to 10,000 years, and that will be really violent. Personally, however, I think we need an even better name than WOHG64, which is somehow too abstract. Feel free to write your name suggestions in the comments. I'll throw the name suggestion Fusion's Fetsack into the room. We also need a good name for the little companion star. How about Fusion Crumbs? The Cosmic Adventures of Fusion Fat Sack and Fusion Crumbs. That would make a great children's series. I've generated a preview image for this series here using an AI tool. Maybe I should pitch it to the Disney Channel. But I'm really looking forward to your creative ideas. Be sure to write them under the video. As soon as we discover an even bigger star, I'll let you know straight away, I promise. But that's only possible if you follow my channel. I know from the statistics that more than half of the viewers haven't subscribed at all. It's absolutely free. You'll never miss another galactic video and you'll help me reach my galactic goal of 100,000 subscribers. So everyone subscribe diligently. Thank you very much. The energy of stars is incredible. And we on Earth would all be history long ago if we didn't have an ozone layer. Because then the sun's energy would fry us pretty quickly. This makes it all the more worrying that a gigantic hole in the ozone layer has formed over Antarctica, and it has something to do with the underwater, volcanic eruption of Hunga Tonga. Incredible story. And if you want to find out all about it, then click on the video shown. It's very exciting. And if you also want to support me, pop into the Astro shop and pick up the t-shirts from the videos or fluffy plush planets. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.